Hey everybody and welcome back to another Star Wars Empire at War modding tutorial. In this video I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to create a sub mod for a mod on mod database. Now a lot of mods have sub mods, especially on mod, um, the Steam Workshop. But, and Steam Workshop makes it makes managing that relatively easy, but sub mods can also work for um, it, it can also work for mod database ones or ones that are just created without Steam Workshop. So uh, here I'm going to be showing you how to create a sub mod for uh, mods on like mod database or something. Okay, so first up, you need to create your uh, file. In this instance, I'm going to be giving the rebellion, the rebellion, a super star destroyer uh, like the Empire. Uh, for R3D2 forces of corruption, but this will work for any mod you can find on mod database. Okay, so we need to create a new file. So you just need a new folder. Folder. We're just going to call it Reb Rebel Rebel SSD Submod. Also, if you guys uh, want it enough in the comments, I might I might release this submod. It's just not something I'm going to put in the main mod. Okay, so now in order to create your submod, you gotta set it up like you do like a normal mod. Like so, inside data, and then XML. That that's that's pretty much it. So data XML. Now don't actually now to actually what we're gonna put in here is going to be just the files. So the files. Oh sorry, the files already exist. Like you don't have to actually put all the XML files in here in order to sorry Alan's being kind of dumb in my background um, okay okay so you go to XML and you find the files that you want to change or add to oh lag oh no oh no okay so and you find the files that you want to edit so for instance in this case it's going to be um, units space Empire executor okay so so this is the executor, Darth Vader's flagship. So this is like the one he has. This is... <coughs> Alan's just being so stupid in my background. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. No, you're not, Alan. Okay. So then you scroll down. So this is like where all the executor stuff is kept. So here we go. So this is the generic version. This is the generic version you can build. So you, what you need to do is you need to copy it. You just copy the executor, or actually any ship, but for this case, we're making a sub mod for the. I'm sorry. Or rather, oh, okay. Okay. You need to copy it. Actually, no, you need to copy the whole file. So you need to copy this whole file, unit space empire executor, copy, and then you need to p paste it into the XML folder of your sub mod. So then you, um, then you can cl close this. I don't, I don't know why I even opened that. I apologize. I apologize for that. I'm all Alan's got me all mess, messed up. Okay, so Empire Executor, scroll all the way down. Then you copy the executor or any unit or anything you want to do for this sub mod. You copy it, and then Executor Superstar Destroyer, Star Dreadnought rather, and then scroll all the way down and paste it in. Now, you don't need to change anything really in this case, but we are going to change a few things. So affiliation rebel obviously we don't want the rebellion also their tech level for some reason maxes out at four so we're just going to give it four because they're weird the rebels are coded weird political faction this doesn't actually affect anything to my knowledge so just leave that um all this just stay the same you don't need to but this is the rebel version so we need to change it to rebel or really it doesn't matter what you call it as long as you know what it's going to be so rebel and then instead of this is the good against and weak against so we're going to remove this and replace it with the uh empire stuff so star destroyer and empires why are you in your underwear i'm not <laughs> yes you are i'm not you are in your underwear i am not in my underwear okay look no i'm not Look, I'm not in my underwear. I'm in blue jeans. Now stop, Alan. Stop. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and he wonders why I don't include him in more videos. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm being very rude, but 
Here's a really cool guy. Yeah, okay. Custom Lego minifigure he made. Okay. Okay, I'll turn it on. We if you leave Okay, just leave here. I wanna show them custom mate. <laughs> custom Lego <laughs> minifigure. Okay, so now cool. right. Okay, so Y Wing, we're gonna change that to tie Oh wag. Oh, it's because I'm oh, okay. Okay, tie bomber Thai Bomber Squadron, uh, B-Wing, we'll change that to Thai oh, Defender Squadron, and Skip Ray Blast Boat. Okay, so that should change it. You don't have to do this. This is just completely optional. You can do that if you want to. Models stay the same. Text files stay the same. This stays the same. And that's pretty much it, except for the, the files here. Go. So we're going to do Rebel... X-Wing, Rebel X-Wing Squadron, and just replace all the Imperial fighters with the Rebel counterparts. So, Rebel A-Wing Squadron. Is it A-Wing Squadron or Rebel A-Wing Squadron? I, 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 I always forget. Okay, so we need to go to Space Station and Squadrons. Sorry, guys. I always forget this. You got to double check this stuff, otherwise the code's not going to work. So Rebel, X-Wing Squadron, Y-Wing Squadron, TIE Fighter Squadron, TIE Bomber Squadron, A-Wing Squadron. It's just A-Wing Squadron. Okay. So just copy this. Paste it in there. Um, then Y-Wing Squadron. And then B Wing Squadron. Oh, nope, I didn't mean to close that. Nope. Okay. Uh, then B Wing Squadron. So we need to go rep fish. Oh. B Wing. Also, guys, this is all completely unnecessary. You don't have to do this. It's just something I'm doing. You can skip this part of the tutorial. Really, it's done. Okay, so B Wing, B Wing. All right. So it's done. This is all done. So the sub mod is coded. So now this is why it's going to be a sub mod. So, to install the submod is going to be a bit different though. So you have your submod, it's literally just a single XML file because it's the, one, the XML file you edited. So to install it, you need to create a copy of the mod that you're modifying. So for instance, me and then paste. R3D2 FOC 3.0 because that's the version we're making the sub mod for. Of course, it slows down at the end. Okay, so now we've got it. We copy this file. Okay, then we paste this in here. Yes, replace file and destination. Put face file and destination. Okay. Um, then Empire Executor, you scroll down to the bottom, and there it is. Now you just run it like a regular mod. So you just overwrite the file. You just overwrite the file that you uh, you created. So I'm going to put this in this file here, and then rename this this sub mods this is the actual version we need to run and then move it into mods and then we load it up and try it so I'm gonna pick up with you guys when I get to that all right here we go I got it so it took me a little bit to set it up but like I said on Kuat and Fondor just like in the regular game you can set it up so obviously this is not gonna apply to every mod every mod, every mod is gonna have different shipbuilding things but this is basically just how to create a sub mod to be distributed now obviously it's not it's gonna be the same thing every time and of course it's gonna be different for every mod and that sort of thing but basically this is how it works and as you can see it did work and having it in a separate file like I showed you is not 100% necessary it just makes it easier for distributing the mod like if you're making a sub mod for yourself all you have to do is just copy the mod itself and just 
edit it there. But like trying to send a whole mod th through when, when it already has the framework ready is just it's just uploading the same mod with some small changes, and that's kind of ridiculous, especially considering a smaller file size would make it upload much more efficiently. But yeah, if you guys um um if there's enough support for it in in uh, the comments, or really if I just feel like it and I think it's a good idea later, I will probably end up uploading this particular sub mod to mod database. And um, I'll, if that shows up, I'll add a link in the description if that happens. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and end up making your own sub mods. And I'll see you guys in the next one.